Welcome back. We will discuss the confidence interval estimates for the population mean as we continue senior high school statistics and probability. <music> For our definition of terms, an interval estimates called the confidence interval is a range of values that is used to estimate a parameter. This estimate may or may not contain the true parameter value. We have three commonly used confidence intervals. Number one, the 90% confidence interval. Number two, the 95% confidence interval. And number three, the 99% confidence interval. Note, the shorter intervals are informative than longer ones. Before we proceed, let's recall the following. Number one, in standard normal distribution, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Number two, the area of the curve is one or 100%. Number 3, in a large sample values, the central limit theorem applies. As the sample size n increases without limit, the shape of the distribution of the sample means taken with replacement from a population with mean mu and standard deviation will approach a normal distribution. This time, let us dig deeper or talk more about the confidence interval. For example, the 95% confidence interval. In the above figure of 95% confidence interval, it shows that the interval estimates of the population mean is x bar minus 1.96 quantity delta over square root of n to um, x bar plus 1.96 the, the quantity of delta over square root of n. It also shows that z sub alpha over 2 equals positive and negative 1.96 called the boundaries of the interval estimate. If the confidence is 95%, then alpha is the remaining 5%, the proportion of both tails of the standard normal distribution curve. Since we have two tails at the two ends of the curve, the remaining 5% will be divided into 2 equals 2.5% equals 0 0.025. Therefore, alpha over 2 equals 0 0.025. In general, the formula for confidence interval for large sample is... where the left side is the lower confidence boundary or limit and the right side is the upper confidence boundary or limit. And the margin of error is E equals Z sub alpha over 2 quantity delta over square root of N. So we can also rewrite the confidence interval formula for large sample as Next are the values for the 99% confidence interval. Z alpha over 2 is plus and minus 2.58. And the area of the two tails of the curve which is alpha over 2 equals 0 0.005. For 90% confidence interval, the boundaries which is Z sub alpha over 2 equals plus and minus 1.65. The area of the two tails of the curve which is alpha over 2 equals 0 0.05. To find the confidence interval, we will use the following steps. Step 1, determine the confidence coefficients which is z alpha over 2. Step 2, find the maximum error E of the estimate. Step 3, find the lower and upper confidence limits. And step 4, interpret the results. Let us use that steps to the following problem. A researcher wants to estimate the number of hours that senior high school students spend in internet. A sample of 40 students was observed to have a mean internet time of 3.5 hours. The population is normally distributed with a population standard deviation of 0.5 hours. Find the 95% confidence interval of the population mean. For step 1, the confidence coefficient or z sub alpha over 2 for 95% is 1.96. Step 2 is solve for the maximum error E by substituting the required values on the formula. On the formula, substitute 1.96 to z sub alpha over 2. 
0.5 to standard deviation and 40 to n. To solve, first divide 0.5 by square root of 40 equals 0.79. Then multiply it by 1.96. The result is 0.15. So our maximum error e is 0.15. For step 3, solve for the lower and upper confidence limit using the general formula. By substitution on the formula, we have 3.5 minus 1.96 times 0.5 over square root of 40 less than mean less than 3.5 plus 1.96 times 0.5 over square root of 40. Or shortly, it is mean minus maximum error less than mu less than mean plus maximum error. So the confidence interval is between 3.5 minus 0.15 and 3.5 plus 0.15. 3.5 minus 0.15 equals 3.35. 3.5 plus 0.15 equals 3.65. So after solving the general formula, we have the mu is between 3.35 and 3.65 or 3.35 to 3.65. To interpret the result, we can say that the 95 confidence that the interval between 3.35 and 3.65 hours contain the population mean mu based on 40 senior high school students' time spent on internet. If we will solve the same problem but instead of 95, we will change it to 99. If we will solve the 99% of the same problem, only the value of z sub alpha over 2 from 1.96 will change to 2.58. And to solve for the maximum error using 2.58, our value is 0 0.20. To substitute the maximum error which is equivalent to 0 0.20 on the general formula, we found out that the confidence interval is 3.30 to 3.70. Therefore, the 99% confidence that the interval between 3.30 and 3.70 hours contain the population mean based on 40 senior high school students' time spent on internet. For our problem number two, please continue watching the video.